Joey, whose mass is 48 kilograms, stands at rest at the outer edge of the frictionless 210 kilogram merry-go-round, two meters from its center. The merry-go-round is also at rest. Joey then begins to run around the perimeter of the merry-go-round, finally reaching a constant speed relative to the ground of five meters per second. What is the final angular speed of the merry-go-round? Assume that Joey runs in positive direction. This problem, the hardest thing about it for me was to get straight of what the heck is going on here. So we're going to say here is our merry-go-round and we're looking at it from the side. And here's Joey and he is standing on the edge. And so what they say is he starts to run around on the merry-go-round. Um, and for me, I was I just had a hard time. I was like, is he running on the ground? Is he like, where is he running exactly? But um, so what they mean is, and you probably got it easily, is he is running on the edge of the merry-go-round. And we're going to pretend there's no bars or that there's no bars in his way or whatever so that he can actually run around without smacking into them. This is my lovely little attempt at bars that are out of his way. So Joey is running around on the edge of this. And so when he's running, let's turn this over so we're looking at it from the top. Here's Joey, and he is running on the edge of the merry-go-round this way. Well, what's the merry-go-round going to do? It's going to start spinning underneath him this way, in the opposite direction. So we're going to have a conservation of momentum, and we're going to figure out how much or how fast is that merry-go-round going to go if Joey is pushing it or, you know, going however fast in the opposite direction. So they tell us that Joey is running in the positive direction. So the merry-go-round will have a negative answer for us because it will be spinning opposite the direction that he's going. And we also know it's negative just because they say that he's always running in the positive and um, anyway, yeah, you got that. All right, so let's go ahead and write down our list of what we know. We have our picture, we know what's going on. So Joey's mass, I'll use a little m for Joey. He is 48 kilograms. And he is standing two, two meters from the edge. And I'm gonna use a big M for the merry-go-round. And the merry-go-round is 210 kilograms. And that also has a radius of two meters. Okay, so then they say that Joey starts running and reaches a top speed relative to the ground of five meters per second. So since we're dealing with angular stuff, it'll be omega initial for Joey of five meters per second. But that's not what we want. We want standard units. So let's go ahead and convert that. So our omega initial for Joey is five meters per second. And we want radians per second. So we know that one revolution is pi times diameter. So pi, because that's the circumference of a circle, or the total area that Joey will run in one revolution. So pi times the diameter is four meters, or four pi. Then we want in one revolution, there are two pi radians. So now we have radians on top, seconds on bottom, the meters cancel out, the revolutions cancel out, and we are left with what we want. So when we plug all this in, omega initial, initial is now equal to 2.5 radians per second. Okay, so now that everything is correct, now let's go on and write our equation of solving the problem. So since we're using conservation, we're going to have an I alpha initial and 
we're going to end up with I alpha final for Joey plus I alpha, I keep saying alpha, that's omega. <laughs> Don't let my absent-mindedness screw you up. This is omega. Okay, omega final for the merry-go-round, we'll say M. Okay, so in this case, let's think about this. The question said, and I'm already noticing a mistake I said earlier, Omega, or Joey and the merry-go-round are both at rest, so our I omega initial will be zero. Now my mistake was that I said this is initial for omega, but it actually is final, because that's the top speed, or the constant speed that Joey ends up at. So I go final, change all these to final. Okay, so now we're straight on everything. So we have zero is equal to I omega final of Joey plus I omega final of the merry-go-round. So let's minus over Joey. So we have, I'll move this over here, I final of Joey is equal to I omega final of the merry-go-round. So this makes perfect sense. What's happening is whatever momentum Joey starts with has to equal the momentum of the merry-go-round. So it sounds like we're on the right track. So what are we going to use for Joey? I for Joey, he's a point mass in this case, so we will use mr squared times his omega final of Joey, that's bad F. Okay. And that's going to equal the I of the merry-go-round is a disk spinning, so we'll have one half mr squared times its final omega. And this is what we're solving for. So if we divide both sides of the equation by the moment of inertia of the merry-go-round, then we will end up with one half mr squared the omega of the merry-go-round, which is what we're looking for. Okay, so these cancel and we're good. All right, so now in this case we want standard units, so the i's of Joey and the i of the merry-go-round, their units will cancel and we'll be left with what we want of the units of radians per second. I'm going to change color just to mix it up a little bit. Alright, so now let's plug in the actual numbers. So omega final for the merry-go-round will equal the mass of Joey, which we said, what was it we said, 48 kilograms. 48 kilograms Joey times the radius of 2 meters squared times his omega initial, which we said was 2.5 radians per second. And that's all over the moment of inertia of the merry-go-round, which is 1 half. The mass of the merry-go-round was 210. 210 kilograms times its radius. Joey's standing on the edge, so it is 0.2 meters, and that is squared. All right, so now that gives us an omega final of negative, let's see, did I? oh yeah, whoops, I forgot one thing over here being forgetful tonight. Okay, so remember how at the beginning how we said this is going to be negative? When we minus over Joey's, I forgot the negative sign, so this should be negative con uh, conservation of momentum for Joey is negative on that value, so that gives us negative on the top divided by a positive on the bottom gives us a negative 1.14 and that is 
in rads per second because that is the units that we put in. Okay, so now going back to what we were talking about at the beginning, Joey, we assumed he's running in the positive direction. The merry-go-round will spin underneath him in the opposite direction, so in the negative direction, and it is spinning at a speed of 1.14 radians per second.